Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. It is time again for the Shabby Creep uh, Ephemera Challenge. And today is day 21, which is my day. And the prompt is draped. And tomorrow will be Pink Odd Bird. So I will, I will link her in the description box below. Not like you guys probably don't have her info anymore. Um, anyway, so let's get down to it. I had a little problem with draped. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for this ephemera. Um, I pulled out a bunch of stuff from my stash and I thought this fabric would be the best for draped. So I'm going to brainstorm a little bit, look at what I pulled out, and I will be back. Okay, so I think the type of ephemera that I'm going to do is like a fold in on a page, flip out, fold in. I'm going to use this cardboard as my base, I think. And because draped is the prompt, I'm going to try and use a lot of fabrics. I think I like this as my base. I like this handmade paper. I think if I put this paper bag behind this, it would make another pocket on the end, which would be kind of cool. like this frame and I think behind this frame I'm going to use this handmade paper and I found these in my stash they're called they're by snip art they're like a wooden die cut and I think it's going to be too big but I think I can cut it and use a portion of it Yeah, I think I'm going to cut somewhere around here and use just one of these. Um, and then comes the draping portion. So, like I said, I think I'm going to use this fabric because it's very drapey. Maybe if I gather it at the top... And then drape it across with some more laces. I also have some upholstery fabric that I may place behind it, but that would be cool. And then to add to the creep factor, I'm going to probably include this butterfly and um, I have these that my daughter found at um, Creative Reuse which is a like a thrift store for craft stuff in Pittsburgh and I thought that this lady because they're like the ones that when you move them they turned like zombies or skeletons and put her in the middle of that butterfly or transversely I found these um, charms that I could put in the middle with one of these cabochons. So, still thinking about that. Also, to tie it all into the other um, pieces of hammer that I made, I think I'm going to use this for the back because I've used this particular um, paper on every single other portion of this. I also found um, some feathers that I might use. So, let's just start and see where this goes. I can do that. I can do that. All right, let me glue that on the back.
Okay, so that's covered and I'll just have to find something to cover those. Maybe some writing paper or something. We'll see. I'm going to put this piece of fabric on here and then cut it down. I wonder if I should put the hinge on to attach it to the... Yeah, let me make a hinge to attach it to the um, page. Okay, now let me figure out how I want to put on this fabric. So, let me see how I want this to be. pocket. I need to cut it down just a little bit more. And I'm going to put a thumb hole here so you can see it's a pocket. On this a little bit because it's kind of boring. I think I want to use my script stamp and my embossing glaze. Okay, I'm going to set up here for embossing. Okay, let me um, clean this up and heat set it and clean my stamp and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's been um, heat set. I 
think I'm going to um, do some distressing on that as well. these darker colors for some dimension. Okay, that looks a lot better. I'm probably going to want this about here. Here and I want to put some of this behind it, but I think I want it bigger than the frame. Okay, so that's going to want to be glued on there. Let's do that real quick. See how I want to cut that down. Okay, that's very cool. I think I'm going to leave that the natural color because it pops off there. Let me just glue that down. Okay. Like that. I like it a lot. Almost time for the draping. Do I wanna, yeah, I think I want to put that up so I can keep the lace out the bottom. And maybe we'll put um, some other stuff under here as well. Let's see how we like it. Okay, so at any rate, it's draped with lace. <laughs> I'm going to put it over to one side so I have room to drape my fabric. in the back too.
think about the draped part of it. Okay, let's clip that and let it dry for a little bit and see how we like it once it's done. Okay, that's somewhat dry and it's somewhat draped, so I think I'm going to glue that on. And then it's time to fiddle around with some of this lightweight lacy fabric to drape. Yeah. Let me just figure out how I'm going to attach this at the top. Okay, so I found these little, you know, black hair tie kind of rubber bands. I'm going to put one of those around the top to aid in my draping. Okay. Okay, that'll work, that'll work, and then I'll just glue that down. because I want it to be drapey, I'm just going to attach it at the top and allow this to hang free. So let me give this a moment to dry before I decide what to do next and I'll be right back. Okay, so while I've been waiting for this to dry, I went through my stash. I pulled out that butterfly that I think I'm going to use. I need to distress the edges of it. I found some feathers and I purchased these feathers a while ago. On Amazon um, I just searched feathers for crafting and then I also found this cabochon and this that goes in it and I think I'm gonna use that too so let me um, glue that together while I'm still waiting for that to dry Perfect fit. Love that. Okay, love that for me. Let me um, distress this butterfly a little bit too. And these butterflies are just out of my stash. I've had them forever. Okay, and then I'm going to 
clip it so that I can give that some dry time while I'm working on something else here. Okay, so down here I think I'm going to put the feathers. Let's see if we can figure out a pleasing arrangement for them. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so let me glue those down. And then we're gonna glue this there too. Let me pop away for a moment while I allow some of this to dry as well. Okay, so this is not entirely dry, but I think I can move on a little bit. As I said before, I'm going to take um, one of these stickers and place it here in the middle of this butterfly. And I'm going to put this clip back on until it dries. And then I have to work on this little spot back here. I thought that I would just do a little lace collage to cover up that fact that there's a little bit of that paper missing. going to allow this to fully dry and then I will be back and we'll do our talk about our wrap ups and I'll show you what it looks like if you wanted to put it in a book. Okay so I'm back. Um, this book again is a little bit smaller than a book I would use this in but I would probably um, use the tab to glue it to the outside of a page so that it could open up and um, you know, you could put paper on the back here and journal, or you could put a pocket on the back here, whatever you chose to do. But um, there's also a pocket here that you could put a tag or something in. And yeah, so that would be what I would use this for. And this is what my interpretation of the shabby creep draped ephemera prompt would be. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you like it. Um, again, if you want to try most of this, I got the feathers from Amazon. The cabochon was from my stash. This is from my stash, but it was from this company, Snip Art. If you want to pause and try and find that. Um, the fabric, this fabric I got at Joann's in the bridal section. This is from my boyfriend's upholstery shop. And yeah, so that is that. I hope you like it and I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great week. Be kind to one another. Love ya. Bye.